Prince Harry's latest privacy court action began today by hearing claims of unlawful activities on an industrial scale at Mirror Group newspapers. But outside the confines of the court, he himself came under a blistering attack over issues of privacy. The Duke of Sussex is one of a group of high-profile figures launching claims over allegations of illegal information gathering, such as phone hacking. The newspaper publisher is contesting the cases. At the start of what's expected to be a seven-week trial, it was alleged a flood of illegality was being authorised and approved by senior Mirror Group figures. But speaking to us, the broadcaster and former Daily Mirror editor Piers Morgan accused Prince Harry himself of cynically invading the royal family's privacy. From coronation to court, Prince Harry's not back in the UK, but is at the heart of a trial that began this morning, a crucial part of his crusade against British tabloids and editors who, it's claimed, left morality at the door. The High Court heard today that there were... Today's target, former Mirror editor Piers Morgan, who gave ITV News his defiant response. Are you willing to apologise? Apologise? I think, I think Prince Harry should be apologising for his disgraceful invasion of privacy of the royal family. And others, by the way. Mirror Group newspapers, the publisher of the Daily Mirror, the Sunday Mirror and the Sunday People, is accused of unlawful information gathering on an industrial scale for 20 years. Voicemail interception, obtaining people's private information by deception or blagging and the use of private investigators for unlawful activities. The court was reminded of these images of 12-year-old Prince Harry at his mother's funeral. It's claimed for more than 15 years he was subjected to the most intrusive methods to obtain his private information, leading to huge bouts of depression and paranoia. He says nowhere was off limits and even blames Mirror Group newspapers for his breakup with Chelsea Davy. The illegal intrusion, he says, made her decide a royal life was not for her. The flood of illegality at Mirror Group newspapers was widespread and habitual, it's claimed. Members of the board and the legal department allegedly knew about it and tried to conceal it. It's claimed former editor Piers Morgan authorised the systemic use of private investigators to unlawfully obtain people's private information and that he knew about phone hacking, something he's always denied, even under oath at the Leveson inquiry. Have you listened to recordings of what you knew to be illegally obtained voicemail messages? I do not believe so, no. Well, you either did or you didn't. I don't think it's a question of, of belief. I do not believe so. You continue to trash her. OK, I'm done with this. No, no, no. His very public spat with the Duke and Duchess of Sussex led to his departure from ITV. Now a new conflict is being played out in the courts. I'm not going to take lectures on privacy invasion from Prince Harry, somebody who spent the last three years ruthlessly and cynically invading the royal family's privacy for vast commercial gain and told a pack of lies about them. So I suggest he gets out of court and apologises to his family for the disgraceful invasion of privacy that he's been perpetrating. Prince Harry has always said he won't settle. He wants accountability and he wants his day in court. He'll get that next month when he comes here to give evidence in person. A royal witness at the Royal Courts of Justice promises to be explosive. Coronation Street actors Michael Turner and Nikki Sanderson, allegedly first targeted when she was just 15, are also among the claimants in this trial due to last seven weeks. Rebecca, um, this is a big deal, to put it mildly, for Mirror Group newspapers. What have they got to say? Well, in the court papers, Mirror Group newspapers do admit one instance of unlawful information gathering against the Duke of Sussex, and they unreservedly apologise for that. But lawyers argue that there's no evidence of any phone hacking in any of these claims and say that some of the claims have been brought too late. 
this trial is potentially damaging for Piers Morgan, one of the UK's best known journalists, especially if he's found to have lied under oath. But I think it's also potentially catastrophic financially mm. for Mirror Group newspapers yeah. who have already spent more than a hundred million pounds settling claims. If they lose this trial, it could open the floodgates for yeah. many more claims. They're accused of blatantly unlawful and illegal behaviour against a member of the royal family as he was grieving his late mother. It was described in court as quite frankly appalling but perhaps worse senior executives are accused of uh, concealing that of deliberately lying to yeah. members of the public the Leveson inquiry and their own shareholders one final point for all those who are slightly confused about the various different cases being brought by Prince Harry at the moment there are three separate cases against three separate newspaper groups this is the first one of those to reach the trial stage and there'll be more and more to come Rebecca thank you very much indeed